I thought I'd show you uh, through a different test that uh, this waveform change that I showed in the other video is not um, an effect exclusive to the B field and that it is also what seems to be an actual product with the, uh, the rodent coil. So what I've got here is a coil that's actually made up of three coils. Each coil is, has 12 windings. I only have actually got two coils connected up to the amplifier. So the third one is left. So it's basically acting as a regular rodent coil. As in the last video, they're connected in parallel. This is a normal rodent coil. It just has two individual coils, each one of them consisting of 18 windings. And it's connected to this oscilloscope here. So what I'm going to do is to put this coil on top of this one. And I'll show you also that it has to be perfectly aligned to get a nice output. So now I will bring this one just close. I'll just, I'll just bring it here. So I'll do that. Let's zoom in here. And you can see that there's only a tiny little sine wave. I should point out that channels 1 and 2 uh, are perfectly aligned at 0 volts. Um, the output from this rodent coil here being on channel 1. So that wave that you're looking at there is the output from the amplifier on channel 2. So I've got the first rodent coil far away, I'll bring it closer. Now it's slightly over the second coil that's actually putting out energy. So you can see I'm forming a sine wave again as you get it put perfectly over the, the center. So I'll just get it 100% correct here. Close enough. But you can see here's my output with the rodent coil about, or with the smaller rodent coil about centered. So there you can see it. So there also seems to be a phase shift between the input and output. You can see that the tops and bottoms of the waves of the cycles don't line up, so there's a slight phase shift there. Let's move the positioning of channel 1 upwards so that you can see the sine wave. So you can see it's not 100% clear, but it's definitely a sine wave. show it one more time. There's the output that you're seeing on the bottom there of the amplifier. Now we'll put this coil on top and as you can see there's my sine wave. Take it off. On. There you go.